Well, this video is kind of interesting. It was the last day I was fishing in a t-shirt. What's cool about this one is it happened in such a narrow time window. Usually I get out there and fish four or five hours. This day, man, I think we did this all in two hours and it was tough. Uh, that being said, uh, enjoy this one. Uh, it's kind of to the point, so here you go. I think I should just start off doing a little, little uh, jigging. I'm thinking. And you're saying what's biting, right? Oh, well, I think we're still in redfish mode. This is not going to be an, a full day of uh, beautiful weather like this. My gut feeling's telling me this, so we've got to capitalize properly here. All right, so uh, yeah, let's try peanut shad. Is that big toad right nope that's a redfish i think that's a nice feeling to just hit bottom and have a fish on though not gonna lie about that one this is like showtime today this is the biggest cold front of the year coming so everything should be biting pretty good. Whatever's here should be biting. Let's see. Let's see. Hey man, nice one. It's all good. Where's my uh... I love this landing net, man. I think it's like a Promar folding net and I just kind of zip tied it together so it no longer folds. But 30 inch summer flounder, it's a 40 inch fish, it can handle no problem. It, these temps are gonna drop from probably uh, 68 to probably in the, into the mid to low 60s pretty quick. And they'd say in the next week and change, that's gonna happen. So we gotta take advantage of our last big, uh, Big showing of some good size, good size fish. It's a beautiful drum. Got a little bit of his tail missing there. Gosh. This reminds me of like striper fishing of old, you know? That's what I'm gonna call it, striper fishing of old. I used to do so much of this sort of fishing for stripers, like that size. Uh, my early 20s, jigging structures, jetties, bridges. Um, it's funny how that really just transcends perfectly from stripers to redfish. Oh, it's getting a little bumpy with water coming over the rocks. Uh, we're gonna go fish the creeks and the other stuff, I guess. Uh, not too excited about doing that, but I think those are the cards I'm dealt. It's gonna get rain, we're gonna get thunderstorms. I don't know. All right, we're, cut, we're cutting through a couple shoals and sandbars right now. I'm trying to find uh, what are my next move is. Got pretty good action, these things, so that's why I'm using them. One problem is <laughs> catch something that don't suck on suck on them is my main query. Finally, it took forever to start locating a couple of these guys. That's a good one. Let's start filling the bag up before that weather hits. Nice fish, huh? Nice fish. We got uh, decent speckled trout. Basically in line with every trout that's been around. <laughs> we got to beat that. I would think these would be biting a lot better, but they're just kind of being passive. And these are our Zoom Fluke split tail trailers. It's got a lot of action, these things, man. Doesn't look like much, but. So we just went behind the inlet and we were just pitching along some grass here, covering a lot of ground. It took me a while to find a fish. Just watching all that weather developing right now. Our clock is really ticking here. 
We're gonna get closer to home, I think. All right, let's start trolling home. Trolling's but maybe we could troll a bunch of fish. I don't like the way that's starting to look. It's uh, holding just uh, about the one mile mark. It's coming for me though. Well, let's see where we can catch a couple more fish. I don't know what this is. It's got size to it though. Mundo lizard. Oh, there we go. Got a couple more. Oh, he's, he thinks he's a he thinks he's a bluefish. He's a bluefish. He's on that sandbar. Troll, trolling's kind of cheating, but under my circumstances of uh, weather moving my way, that is a pretty good trout, actually. Oh, thanks. All right. It's the meat. We're on meat. 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 Yeah, that's a speckled trout. It's one of the more popular fish to eat locally. Um, it's a good one. Both of these fish were pretty good size. That was a lizard fish. That was also a lizard fish. Is that a bluefish? It's possible. Yeah. You know what? I'm smoking fish. I'm gonna be home for four days in a row. Whoop! Old bluefish. Good quality trout right there. Mm, uh, and some gray meat. <laughs> Three. Another decent spec. This one's a little smaller, but still quality fish. Shit hits the pan, right? right? Let's get one more and call it. I saw some Spanish mackerel just started busting too. Oh yeah, that's another decent fish. Um, yeah, oh shit, it's time to get the fuck out of here. Got that good red, so hey man, we pieced it together. Saw plenty of fish. We didn't get too much time out here before this weather hit. So um, weather looks pretty bad for a while, so I wouldn't be surprised we're we're sitting at home for a bit. Uh, we'll do a catch and cook tomorrow. So. Uh, well, <laughs> I'll show the wind's kicking now. Let's get the. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna smoke the speckled trout. Uh, it's pretty good smoked. I made a, a smoked speckled trout about two weeks ago. First time. Uh, I like smoked fish in general. King mackerel, Spanish mackerel. I've had smoked to me bluefish. That's the best way to make bluefish. Uh, speckled trout came out pretty good. I've also got a red fish in the refrigerator behind me. Uh, we'll smoke that. I took the skin off. I didn't know I was going to go out there and catch trout to smoke today. And uh, we're going to make two brines. Uh, the brines are basically going to add flavor, salt, and protect the flesh of the fish for the smoking process. I have an electric hot smoker. It's a pretty basic one. Um, and then you can make a dip. You can do whatever you want kind of with this. The, the main thing that's kind of important is, I think, I would say, is selecting the right fish for smoking. Um, stay away from like the black sea basses, toe togs, but you can kind of do it with any fish. Um, I thought speckled trout came out pretty good, and then you can make a dip, you can eat them as is. Uh, it comes out pretty good. And the, the other thing is uh, it extends the shelf life quite a bit too. So uh, let's get started. Okay, two brines. So let's get started. Half cup sugar, brown sugar, half cup kosher salt, Whisk them together. Soy sauce, uh, you can go, I'm gonna use, I don't know, about a quarter cup, something like that. Bunch of bay leaves, a little bit of pickling spice. This has got some fun stuff in it, right? Uh, maybe a teaspoon, a couple teaspoons black pepper. Two cloves of garlic crushed in there. And the fun thing about brining, give it a taste before you do it. You, um, you brine the fish. Um, if you want more, you know, a certain flavor, more of a soy flavor, more garlic, more herbs, yeah. Uh, and then we'll make a kind of a wacky brine after that. I like it. 
You're supposed to like it. Make sure you like your brine. All right, so we poured the brine over the fish, glass containers, you know, non-reactive, whatever you want to call it, but I just use glass. Uh, I use glass for anything, yeah, like the lemon juice, etc. You're gonna make, if you're like me, you might make a little bit of a mess. All right, we're gonna refrigerate this overnight. All right, same deal. Half cup sugar, half cup salt. Uh, next, we're gonna put go two jalapenos to start, chop them up. Mm. And a full cup of the not from concentrate pineapple juice. Just to start, let's see. So there's people that think pineapples and jalapenos combined is like the most monstrous flavor combination you could come across. Well, it's the next morning, I got a haircut, yes. It's a, I did not wait a week to brine this. I actually woke up this morning, took the fish out, got a haircut, dropped off mail. We brined it overnight and I've uh, had it on this rack for, let's say, I hope I can do this with one hand. Uh, we had this on this rack for about, uh, let's say about three hours, maybe. Okay, here's our, our smoker. We got a very basic electrical one. I forgot the brand. We'll take a look in a second. Uh, I think we'll smoke it probably for two hours, two and a half, somewhere around there. That was how long it took last time. Um, this is a charbroil, like electric smoker. Very simple. All right, let's put her away for a little bit. Check up in about uh, two hours. Are we ready? Ooh, I think we're good. That looks great. All right, let's shut this off and let's pull it out and take a look. A few minutes when we'll head over to the kitchen. Okay, we're back inside. Uh, we're gonna give these a couple minutes to kind of rest up or firm up. Uh, usually the flavor kind of gets enhanced as so you, you let it chill out and rest. All right, so uh, smoked fish, well, the flavor's gonna get better. Uh, you can do anything with it. I'm gonna make a smoked fish dip. Uh, from these guys. Yeah, I'm gonna mix them all together probably, but uh, it's one of those things you either like it or you don't. And this time I tried the jalapeno pineapple brine. Uh, I made a mistake. I did not put enough jalapenos in that brine. Um, the sweetness from the pineapple was in the fish. Uh, the jalapeno flavoring kind of got, I mean, it was slightly there. I need to probably put like five or six jalapenos. Um, probably the cooking process really drowns out the heat, uh, the flavoring combination I was going for. All right, everyone always loves to ranting about, oh, so you can see the oil coming out of it. Everyone always rants and raves how good smoked bluefish is. Smoked bluefish. It's a lot closer to the speckled trout than you'd think. Let me try one more piece. I actually, the speckled trout and the smoked bluefish are much closer in, in taste than the smoked redfish. And what I like about smoked fish too is you really drastically extend the shelf life quite a bit, add a couple of weeks to it. So if I make a dip or if I freeze it and thaw it out later, something to snack on, etc. Still got a good amount of flounder I'm working through. All right, so let's rate these very quickly. Um, the redfish is definitely the winner. I really liked it. Taste is subjective. I thought the smoked redfish um, takes the flavor on, has such a meaty and dense texture, uh, but doesn't like get a fishy bite to it. It's really uh, one of the best smoked fish I've had. Smoked speck and smoked bluefish, put them about the same. Um, I think the speck's got a little bit of a more delicate texture and a little bit more of a delicate flavor. However, bluefish, they both come out really good. That's, at the end of the day, the best way I've had bluefish. Uh, give it a try, you might like it. I, I ended up liking it. That being said, it's good, you know, baked with, you know, herbs and it's good fried. There's quite a few different ways you can prepare it, but I think it, it loans itself up pretty well to smoking. Um, that being said, redfish is a really good smoked. Uh, probably black drum is the other one I would try smoke because redfish and black drum are related. Uh, but redfish is the best. So those are the recipes. I'll leave those uh, links in the video description. Uh, it wasn't a bad day of fishing. Um, something a little different taste, take on speckled trout. Um, you, yeah, you can do it your own way. I thought this was very good and kind of unique. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed. There'll be links in the video's description, what we fished with. 
uh, jig the redfish, um, zoom flukes for the, the specs, and that was another zoom lure. I'll have it in the video's description what we used. Uh, and, uh, you know, thunderstorms moved through. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. That was uh, fun and delicious. Uh, smoke speckled trout. If you like smoked fish, give it a try. I think you'll like it.